Let's talk about the most overlooked cause of hypertension. And this concealed cause of hypertension is a shortage of an essential trace mineral, which I think has been hidden from view for a very long time. And I want to put it on your radar because we know that vitamin D deficiencies can create hypertension. We also know that a potassium deficiency can also create hypertension. And we also know that 90% of all hypertension is called essential, which means they don't know what causes it. And I really think it's related to nutrition. But this third nutritional deficiency connection to hypertension, and I'm going to share it with you right now. I mean, just look at this right here. You have high blood pressure, right? The problem with high blood pressure is it puts you at risk for a stroke. And also, if you look at a map of the United States, southern states have the highest risk of high blood pressure, hypertension, as well as the highest risk of strokes. And those southern states also correlate with a much higher deficiency of zinc in their soils. Yeah, so a zinc deficiency can cause hypertension. And I'm going to explain why. But first, let's just talk about sodium, for example, because doctors are so hyper-focused on the sodium. You must get rid of sodium. But it's been a big disappointment because a lot of people reduce the sodium and they still have hypertension and they still have to be on the medication. You also have folate. Folate, if that's deficient, can raise your homocysteine which can lead to high blood pressure and a stroke as well. And homocysteine is a certain uh, thing in your blood that puts you at risk for cardiovascular problems. But a zinc deficiency is way more common. So check this out. When you're deficient in zinc, you may have already known your smell is going to be inhibited, but you might not have known that your taste will be altered as well. And what do you think that's going to do to people? It's going to cause them to add more salt, more spices within the junk food, have them reach for more Doritos or salty chips. They're trying to get more uh, flavor from food because everything's kind of bland and not to mention all the MSG in the food. And so it is true that an average person in the U.S. is consuming way too much sodium from junk food and not enough potassium, but they're probably not aware that they're also deficient in zinc. When you consume too much salt, okay, without the balance of the potassium and other minerals like magnesium, you start to increase hormones like renin and this other thing called angiotensin II, which I'm not going to get into the details of that. All you need to know is that salt will increase blood pressure through these hormones because what they do is they cause constriction of the blood vessels. So if you ever heard of an ACE2 inhibitor, and it is the number one high blood pressure medication. And what's really ironic about this is that an ACE2 inhibitor depletes zinc, causing more of a blood pressure problem. A couple other medications deplete zinc that relate to blood pressure. Diuretics, that's another common medication for high blood pressure. Well, guess what? Diuretics also deplete your zinc. Not to mention antibiotics will deplete your zinc, antacids deplete your zinc, and birth control pills deplete your zinc. Now, there's a couple other mechanisms with blood pressure related to zinc as well, because zinc is a helper mineral for making uh, nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a vasodilator. It helps relax the blood vessels, okay? It's really good for people with hypertension, and zinc is required to allow nitric oxide to work. Zinc is also necessary to make certain antioxidants. One is called SOD to allow inflammation to be kept in check. I mean, inflammation is the starting point, the exact thing that starts the whole cascade effect. Zinc is also necessary for leptin, and that's a hormone that keeps you satisfied. So without enough zinc, you're gonna find that you're gonna overeat. Uh, definitely at night, you're going to keep snacking because you're just not satisfied. You're really looking for zinc, not Doritos. So the question is, well, how do you become zinc deficient? Well, it could be it's just not in the soils. It's not going to be in your food. You don't consume shellfish. You don't consume red meat. You eat too much sugar, refined carbs, alcohol, whole grains with phytic acid. Fructose especially can deplete your zinc levels or even your stomach acid is not strong enough, you can't absorb minerals, especially zinc. The food that has the most zinc is oysters, shellfish, red meat. 
and you may need to get your zinc from some other source than red meat if you have a problem with iron. All right, so now that you know this link between zinc and hypertension, check out this other link between potassium and hypertension. And I put that video up right here.